fate of fresh water is the future of life. Yet we've taken those waters largely for granted. Nearly a fifth of the world's population doesn't have access to clean fresh water. We need to understand what the impacts are, and then we need to understand how to mitigate those impacts of humans on fresh water. When we do that, we've solved the major global challenge about fresh water security. The Jefferson Project is the most sophisticated technological approach to studying fresh water in the world. Well, we're not doing this in a laboratory. We're doing this in a lake. Lake George is an oligotrophic lake. It's a very special classification in that the water quality is very, very high drinking water quality. It's a huge ecosystem with a lot of moving parts. This is a living laboratory. It is the next generation of science combined with state-of-the-art technology to put eyes on the problems facing Lake George like we've never had before, to understand the lake from physics to fish, top to bottom, there's nothing like it. If you want to really understand the lake, you need to monitor the lake, you need to do experiments about the lake, and you need to do computer modeling of the lake. It's about big data. How do you handle 150 million data points? Jefferson Project is a great example of the Internet of Things technology being applied to environmental problems. So we have intelligence that is built in now at the sensor platforms. There are 42 of them in and around the lake, and that is really the brains of the project in terms of very high quality data. So we model the weather, we model the hydrology, the runoff, how water moves in the terrain around and runs into the lake. So we understand what's happening, what's running into the lake, how it's moving out of the lake, and how that works over time. With that new view, we can develop breakthrough solutions to protecting the lake for all time. And that has ramifications not only here from a pure scientific basis, but also if you have an oil spill or if you have a contamination event in a river or an estuary, these kinds of deployed IoT platforms can react to those things and there can be remediation efforts. If information is power, the Jefferson Project is providing us with empowered information. Fresh water is under siege, and as we lose fresh water, the quality of our waterways, we lose what makes life livable. <laughs> I hope the enduring legacy of the Jefferson Project is the long-term protection of this lake, but also the long-term protection of lots of other lakes around the world.